The melting temperature is defined as the temperature at which 50% of the double-stranded DNA is denatured to single-stranded DNA. For example, if we have 100 copies of the double-stranded DNA at melting temperature equals 60 Celsius, then a 50% of the double-stranded DNA will melt into single strands, while the other 50% will stay as double strands. The 50% of the single-stranded DNA is thought to have the primers bounded to them. The forward primer and the reverse primer should be designed such that they have similar melting temperatures, otherwise the DNA amplification will be less efficient or may not work. The primer melting temperature can be calculated using different methods. Wallace equation, Marmar and Doty equation, salt adjusted method, and the nearest neighbor method which is the most accurate one. We are going to explain the nearest neighbor method in the next lecture. Wallace equation estimates the melting temperature only based on the nucleotide's composition of the primer. The equation assigns 4 Celsius to guanine and cytosine and assigns 2 Celsius to thymine and adenine. Let's have an example. Look at the following primer. The number of guanine and cytosine equal 8 nucleotides and the number of thymine and adenine equal 4 nucleotides. Substitute both values and do simple calculations to solve the equation. Kindly note that Wallace equation assumes that PCR reaction is under the standard conditions of 50 nanomolar primer, 50 nanomolar sodium concentration, and pH equals 7. Marmar and Doty equation estimates the melting temperature based on the number of guanine and cytosine in the primer and the primer length. Let's have an example. Look at the following primer. The number of guanine and cytosine equal 10 nucleotides and the primer length equal 20 nucleotides. Substitute both values and do simple calculations to solve the equation. Kindly note that Marmar and Doty equation assumes that the PCR reaction is under the standard conditions of 50 nanomolar primer, 50 nanomolar sodium concentration and pH equal 7. Salt adjusted method estimates the melting temperature based on primer length, the number of guanine and cytosine in the primer, and the salt concentration of the PCR reaction mixture. Let's have an example. Look at the following primer. The number of guanine and cytosine equal 10 nucleotides, and the primer length equal 20 nucleotides. As for the salt concentration, assume it equals 0.05 molar. Substitute all values and do simple calculations to solve the equation. Kindly note that salt adjusted method assumes that PCR reaction is under the standard conditions of 50 nanomolar primer and pH equals 7. So you have any question in your mind? I'm eager to help you.